day seven of the Michelle Traconis trial in Stanford focused on video from along Albany Avenue in Hartford. See that pickup truck there? That's part of it. That's when Fotis Dulos was caught on camera dumping trash bags in a bunch of different bins along that road. Today, experts and investigators took the stand to break down this video for the jury. NBC Connecticut's Kevin Geis is covering this trial for us. He joins us live from Stanford with more of what happened in the courtroom. Kevin. Yeah, Mike Keisha, we got some new angles and some new video that we have not seen before, as well as evidence that was collected along Albany Avenue in Hartford, all pointing to Michelle Traconis' first true appearance in this trial. It was like a clink. It was like a clink noise. Connecticut State Police Sergeant Michael Buton describing state troopers' recovery of two license plates from a storm drain along Albany Avenue in Hartford, in a location Fotis Dulos was seen on surveillance video discarding something into a storm drain. There was some effort needed to alter their appearance. The, the top portion actually wasn't the plate itself. It was some type of blue tape with like a clear adhesive. After troopers were able to uncover that the plates were altered, they ran the registration. They came back uh, canceled on a 2007 Chevy Suburban uh, that was registered to Mr. Dulos. Through witnesses, prosecutors are taking the jury through video along Albany Avenue in Hartford, which appears to show Fotis Dulos discarding trash at various points. Specifically, the trash getting dropped off in multiple City Hartford garbage cans. Um, in order to get uh, an evidence collection team. Also seen in the video at the time of the discarded plates, a female figure investigators believe to be Michelle Traconis leaning out of the Ford Raptor. It appears to be a white female. Uh, looks like wearing a short sleeve shirt and it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe her hair is in a ponytail and I could see at least one of her feet on the sidewalk and her right hand appears to be reaching down toward um, toward the, the brick or pavement. Defense attorney John Schoenhorn concerned about some of the testimony continuing to come in, arguing the prosecution is putting him in a position where he has to defend Fotis Dulos and not his client. There's already a guilt by association problem that's arising. There was also concern today about the possibility of losing another juror. One juror brought to the court's attention. He recognized a name that came up in testimony earlier today. Ultimately, the judge decided he could stay after he swore he could remain impartial and he hadn't had contact with that witness in over 20 years. We're live in Stanford. Kevin Guys, NBC Connecticut News. Mike, back to you. Kevin, thanks.